Tada Kegela. Yes, that means hello everybody in Estonian, because today we're looking at a brand spanking new library from Orchestral Tools called Tallinn. Tallinn being the capital of Estonia. And it's a library that aims to capture the immense uh, cold beauty of the Baltic states. Um, it's a, a really interesting, beautiful library. So I thought we'd come into a really interesting, beautiful place, which is here, and try and score the landscape. Okay, um, so we're going to be using just this library, and I've got my um, portable keyboard, my M32, I have my MacBook Pro, and that's it. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get this set up, and I will talk you through the library, and we'll look at the landscape. I mean, what I really like about this place is it's, it's not far from you know, the middle of civilization, but it does have a real sense of wilderness about it. And, you know, the beautiful, so the browns and the greens of the seaweed against the sort of bluey, browny gray of the, of the mud. I think it's really, I'm starting to sound like Bob Ross. Stop it, guy, stop it. Uh, right, so here we go. Get the keyboard up and then we can get cracking. At, uh, it's not bad, is it, being able to just sort of wander out the house and come to a place like this with literally a laptop and a keyboard. Now, let's get uh, Logic open. Right, and here is, uh, here's Logic and here's um, Talon. Let me just show you. It runs in the uh, sign player, which is um, the, oh, here it is, good. Right, now, how am I gonna get this sorted so I can do this? Right, I now put on my headphones. I've even got coffee! I've even got coffee! Hmm. Right, okay, I'm quite, I'm quite sorted here. So I don't need to coat. It's, quite... it's that time of year when it's not quite warm, but it's not cold either. Okay, how am I going to actually do this? Um, right, let's have a little look. What you get, let me just show you what you get. Um, with talent, you get choirs, uh, strings and organs and the strings you get these are very much chamber um, strings they're kind of um, uh, and they play in a very specific way they play with almost no vibrato so there's a sort of icy beauty about it and that is really the intention of the library so you get sustains with legato sustains soft sustains single bow expressivo portato long portato short staccato tremolando dynamic waves dynamic waves uh, yeah, so there's lots of interesting stuff going on here let's just okay look i'm just going to start doing something and you'll see what we're doing let's start with the um okay yeah this is going to work isn't it <laughs> isn't it um where am i going to put my keyboard <sighs> That'll do. There we go. That's great. Good. Okay. Right. Where were we? Turn up the brightness a bit. I'm going to start with violas because, um, as you know, <laughs> what's that? I don't want to know. <sighs> okay. As you know, I always think the violas are a really good test of a, of a library because I like that a lot. This is really my type of sound. One, two. Okay, very simple. And again, just walking that fifth up and down. So I'm playing G and D, G and E flat, G and F natural, then back down to the E flat again. So there's a sort of drone going on underneath. Okay, now let's put, this is, So 
we're going to add a top line to that now. So we're using the viola to hold the whole thing together. Then we're going to put a top line with the violins on. Then we're going to put something underneath with the uh, cello. And then we'll think of what to do with the voices later. So as I'm walking that up and down with the open fits, I'm going to start. Um, so I start on G and D. So I'm going to start the violin one on B flat. So it ma makes a, um, a G minor chord. Oh, too early, too early. I peaked, I peaked. Okay, another one. That works. I like this. Let's get what what's going to come out of the box with the cello. Oh, okay, cellos are set for staccati. Okay. Woo -hoo. There you go. Let's well, let's go with it. Let's go with that. It's slightly against the grain of everything else going on. Okay, that'll work. Um, okay, so we're putting a rhythmic, rhythmic element which is going to sit underneath these very kind of... That doesn't work. What's going to have to happen is we're going to have to, because the, the harmony in this first bit, is, we're just going to go on a straight, I tell you what, or we just bring the those bits in for the um, second part. So when we're going, okay, one, two, three, four. Didn't, it didn't work at the end, but up to then it worked. Um, we'll bring the bass in at the same point, actually. Uh, I think, so it just adds weight to the second time round. And... Right. Okay. Now, ah, oh, I'm just just taking a moment to look at this. It, you know, the funny thing is, when you're writing music, you sort of get, you know, slightly lost in your own little world. I forget. Hang on, guy. You're sitting on the beach, um, looking at what's that? Oh, it's just a starling. Um, looking at the sea, um, and this amazing tree behind me. <laughs> Okay, female voices. Hello, I tell you what, this female legato is amongst the best I've ever heard. It's really, really good. I don't know what this is going to be. I'm just going to improvise something here. Okay. That's it. I'm going to keep it simple. In the spirit of Arvo Pert.
It's good. It's a great sample. It really is. Hang on. Oh, this is, you like this, you like this. Look, this is, um, they do sort of random s syllables and things. So if you go. I have no idea what these chaps are singing. They could be saying, bring me a Big Mac and fries. But it sounds nice and sort of authoritative because they're singing it in that kind of um, sort of <laughs> sacred minimalist style. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arbor Pet. I'm sorry, Arbor Pet. But, uh, if you don't know Arbor Pet, it, it, it's one of the geniuses of 20th century music. Absolutely incredible. Everything is pared down to its most simple form, uh, but every note speaks a volume. And if you've never um, come across his music, you know, I won't mind if you check out right now, go to Spotify, stick his name in and have a listen to something like Aline or one of, you probably know his music because it's all, you know, it's, it's, it's dead famous, but, and it's been used on lots of things. But anyway, oh, you haven't subscribed to this channel? Oh, if you want to go on then, you just click the button, click the subscribe bell thing. And next time I go out into the wilderness, you can come too. Okay, anyway, right, where were we? We were a... Uh... There's quite a lot of latency on this, so I'll have to bring them forward, I think, but... Two, three, four... Oh, no, no, I know where I'm going to do it. I know where I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it in the second half, where, where we bring in the... Okay, look, we've only been at this, what, 10 minutes? I am going to enjoy the view while accompanied by Tallinn. Ladies and gentlemen, the beauty of nature. I really like this library. It's got a really distinctive feel. It's beautifully executed. It's really done with great precision. And I really quite like this being outside, just sort of writing music in the middle of nowhere thing. I think it's a bit of fun. And being able to sit here and do this is a great treat. And I've really enjoyed it. And I hope you have too. And there are things to download if you want to learn more about um, writing music and things like that under this that but until next time who knows where I'll be next time um, thanks for your company and see you very soon bye bye